Yo, what's up, Foot Clan? Welcome to the dojo here. If you are new here uh, and you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, hit that ding bell for future content. All right, let's dive on in. All right, what you do today, Steven? Uh, so well, not, not yesterday, but what you do? All right, so yes, uh, so yesterday was the remote dual invitational qualifier. Uh, in my bracket, uh, we went, we went as a team, uh, undefeated technically through Swiss. Um, I had one draw. Uh, it was 4-0-1. Uh, I was second at the end of Swiss. And top cut, I lost uh, in top cut, got fifth in top cut. Uh, my only loss that entire tournament was to Dinos in top cut. Uh, my matchups were round one, I had a bye. Um, I'll tell the story at the end. Uh, round two was prank kids. Uh, I won that 2-0. Uh, round three was virtual world. My opponent, unfortunately... Uh, we both got deck checked and he got a game one loss because he forgot to unside from the last round. And then game two, game two, even though we're, you're not supposed to side going into game two, the judge let us side. So he didn't know what, he didn't know what I was playing. I didn't know what he was playing. So I didn't side, but he sided, but then he bricked and I just killed him. Uh... Then the next round was the mirror match. I drew against that. Um, and then the last round was Tri Brigade Zoo. Um, that statue was devastating. Uh, but I beat I beat them 2-1. Uh, and then Top Gut Miss is a hell of a card. And we lost to that. Uh, but here's the profile. I played uh, Zodiac Eldritch. Um... We'll start with, uh, I play one Thoroughblade, uh, one Whip Tail. Um, this is standard, but I kind of miss the Zoo Monsters. I'll probably play like one more Whip. Uh, then we played uh, three Ram Ram. Uh, this is the best Zoo you want to open or up. search. And uh, then I played for the Hand Trap lineup, three Ash. Two Skull Meisters, two DD Crows. Uh, all these hand traps are just standard for the format. Uh, then I played the two Golden Lords. Um, the best Golden Lord, the cheap Golden Lord. Uh, those are all the monsters. Uh, those are all the monsters for uh, the deck. You don't need any more monsters. My count, I felt like, was a good ratio. Uh, besides the zoo monsters, uh, now onto the spells. You play one of the best spells in the format, uh, droplets. <laughs> Drop droplets uh, came in clutch numerous of times. Um, it just says no to bad players who think they can end on good boards. <laughs> 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 then, <laughs> then, uh, then we have uh, three curse outlands. This is a <laughs> this is a uh, this is the second uh, best spell searcher in the game. Uh, the first everybody would say is Nadir Servant. Because it is because engages ban, but you know. False. <laughs> this is the third Engage. tanky. Um, this is the best. You want to either open this or open a zoo. Uh, because zoo plus any Ellis trap is br busted, to be honest. Uh, then utility spells. We play triple cosmic, uh, triple book of Moon, and then the one barrage. Uh, the books in the cyclones are like the best utility for like the mirror and any other matchup. Uh, you the Vanny's the Vanny's ruler. Just book it. Uh, if they end on Ultimatus, Vanny's ruler, then you just droplets and then just kill them. Uh, then barrage. 
Uh, now for the traps, Ice Dragon Prison. Uh, I didn't play any Drytrons, but like this this card sucks against Drytron, so we just sided out. But any other matchup, this card always comes up. People have like cut this from this build, but like this card is like too good in every other matchup. Uh, then we play Eldritch cards, so three Sanguines, three Conquistadors, and two Hawkwarrels. Um I probably should have played one of the spell elixirs because it kind of came up when you open up two golden lords it's kind of sad uh but besides that these ratios are fine i didn't really miss the spell except for the one matchup uh in the mirror game one where i opened up two golden lords um but that's it for the main deck is 41 uh that's just my favorite ratio i only i play 41 decks uh, anything under 41 or over 41 is just like not so optimal for me, for me, for me personal. Uh, but yeah, and on to the extra deck. Uh, the extra deck is like probably not as standard as most builds. Um, because I feel like in every build that, uh, there's, uh, there's like more links then there are zoo monsters uh but we can go ahead with that uh one dryden uh two checks uh two tiger mortars two hammer kongs two boar bows um i really like having two of every zoo monster i can play because just get into that grinding matchup when you have more zoos to play with you kind of need those to make multiple Zeus's. Um, speaking of Zeus, we play two Zeus. Um, if anybody has another Starlight Zeus, hit me up. Because I'm looking for it. Uh, it's just the best succeed in the game right now. Uh, then we play Lynx. We play the one Lynx Spider. One Nightmare Phoenix. One Unicorn. This never came up. I wish it was like another Link 2 besides Unicorn. And then the one Mega Clops. Um, this hardly ever comes up, but like when it comes up, it's like just busted and like just wins you outright games. Who tells you summon that? Uh, so in the Tri Brigade matchup, I summoned it three times. Oh, yeah. Every game I summoned it. Except for. I hate that shit. You know, the, the, the one, the game one, he had no choice but to just die to this card. Game, t uh, game two, even though he won game two, uh, I had to out the barrier and then I made this to beat over his Shurag. Uh, and then end on a Dryden, but then he just outed it, uh, the next turn. And then game three, I just sat on this with three Eldritch Traps in the back. That's devastating. Yeah. That's so, my question is, why would you play this over just normal Zoo or normal El normal Elves in theory? Uh, well, like I said, um, this Unicorn never came up. I kind of wish I played, like, either that Rank 10 Train or a Pallades, because there was multiple games where I had, like, two Elves Traps, and I could have made, like, a Pallades or, like, Mm -hmm. Two Golden Lords were on field. And I could have made, like, the Gustav Max to burn and attack. So, like, that's probably, like, the only change. Uh, if I didn't want to play this, I'd probably play, like, the BLS Link. Because in Testin, that came up a lot. Uh, so, that's probably the only two flex spots. These are definitely flex spots. You, uh, I just like Mega Clops because it just steals games that you shouldn't win. Right. And then the side deck, um, the third crow, uh, and the one Lancia. Uh, these two are like the flex boss. I was like jumping back and forth on either just playing two Lancias or uh, the third, the third, the third droll and Lockbird. Uh, I should have, in hindsight, I should just play two Lancias because I was already playing enough hand traps for Drytrons. Uh, but I went the third crow for the mirror match too. Uh, but yeah, that's probably like one of the biggest changes, just playing the second Lancia. Uh, then we played two drills. 
I really kind of wish this art came in a different rarity, but we'll just have to deal with the goads. Then I played uh, a Tech Mystic Mine. Uh, this was just the funny, uh, funny tech that I wanted to play for the tournament. Uh, because, like, if, if my opponent, like, had VFD out, if I was playing Virtual Worlds, and, like, didn't set up Chuchi, I'd just Mystic Mine them, then set my back row and just basically play with my food, because, like, Virtual Worlds died to trap cards. Uh, and if I was playing Drytrons, I'd just activate Mystic Mine. Um, after I drop blitz their ultimate ness and just see if they don't they usually don't main deck outs to missing mine so we just sit on mine. Uh, then I played three lightning storms for the mirror match. Um, and any back row decks, the pile the pile dies to lightning storm. The mirror match dies to your back row getting destroyed. Um, this card never came up except for the one mirror match I played. Um, but then I lightning stormed him, set up my board, and then he lightning, he harpy feather dusted me back. So it was just a grindy game, regardless. Uh, and then for the traps, we played three strikes, uh, then two D barriers, and two evenly match. Uh, the evenly match was for the mirror match and the pile deck. Uh, this never came up, uh, but it's still a good side deck. Um, you don't want your opponent's Elish cards to float, so you want to bash them. Uh, the D barriers, in hindsight, was a good tech, but these should have been solemn judgments. So I didn't lose to Lightning Storm or D barrier, or not D barrier, uh, Lightning Storm or Duster. Uh, these were good. Uh, these are what you side in going first against Drytrons, uh, when you side out the Ice Dragon Prisons. Uh, you just want more negates for their hand tra their uh, Ben Tens and their Drytron monsters and their Link Summons. So you just want more negates. Uh, so you side these in in the Crow. And yeah, that, I had fun. I had fun this weekend. Um, it was a really good event. Um, so the story that I mentioned earlier. So when I registered for the event, it said that the tournament was going to start at 10 PST, which if nobody knows the time difference, it's 1 o'clock uh, EST. And so I woke up at like 7 in the morning, uh, do my daily routines, and it's around like 10.30. I get a mess, a notification from Discord that uh, from my friend asking who won round one. And I'm like, what? The tournament didn't start. And I go in and everybody's playing round one. So I report I lost round one and then talk to the head judge. I showed him evidence that it said 10 PST. He talked to the tournament organizer and um, they didn't drop me from the tournament. And like right before round two, he told me they just gave me and the other dude who also had the same information a buy. So that's just a win. If anybody doesn't never had a buy before, uh, so I just got a win for that one round, which was lucky in my regards. But just for like a tournament organization standpoint, uh, false information can lead to game losses and like people quitting the game for that. Uh, then another funny story that happened that kind of cost me a game in Top Cut too is right before Top Cut my. My internet in my neighborhood died. So I had to use a hotspot to finish Top Cut. And it was cutting out on me. So kind of broke my concentration. Probably one of the main reasons why I lost in to Dinos. And Miss. Yeah. And Miss. Van Miss. Hashtag Van Miss. Haters. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is it. So it sounds like you, your worst matchup, it sounds like you were when you were explaining everything that you felt like your worst matchup was uh, Drytrons, obviously. Yeah, like just not having enough practice with the deck, and like even though we have some of the like best players in my opinion that play that have the deck and like play test it, and I did a lot of play testing online, and uh, yeah, like the matchup isn't like 
as easy unless you open up droplets and the matchups like super easy. Uh, but like unless they're like playing the Megalith build, like that's the the scary build. Like the the ruler, the ruler uh, ultimatus build is cute, but it's not as strong as the Megalith, uh, the Megalith full IP combo uh -huh. because that combo just like leads to like ritual summon Bethor pop like four pop four or three on my turn. After I set up my cards, and that's that was the build that I mainly had the most trouble with when testing uh, online. And you probably played this version of the deck because it's the best version of the deck because Zoo and Ellis on their own just don't do it. Yeah, well. yeah, pure Zoo just it's good against every other deck, but it's just not good by itself in the. The Zoo Eldritch <laughs> matchup or like the Jarjron matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, Zoo by itself cannot outgrind Eldritch cards. So any version of Eldritch cards, just Zoo just auto loses. So I wanted to not lose to Grindy Ducks. Alright, cool. Thank you, Stephen Crack. Congratulations again. Alright, thank you. No problem. You selling the map for $400? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>